Hi, this is Dr. Don. I want to show you a fairly quick way to find code that you need to load a data file in Posit Cloud or RStudio. I had a student uh, send me this file and said that he was trying to load the HR salary file and he was using this code and of course it wasn't working. And uh, I found out that the uh, HR salary file is in the data folder and it's right there. It's an HR salary CSV file. Now there are a number of ways you could you could get the code to do that but one way I like to show students is just to click on the name of the data file and then import data set. Click on that and you get this window and I'm going to well it's not going to show very well there but in this particular code preview there you're given the code you need to load that data file it already decides what type of data file it is and it gives you the path and then it gives you the queue I'm going to see if I can't co copy this control C Hopefully I got that. And I'm just going to cancel out of that. And I'm going to go in here and paste this code in. Let me go ahead and comment out the one that wouldn't work. Now, it gives us the, the package we need, the reader package that uh, needs to be loaded in the library. And it gives us the, the actual code, the HR salary read underscore CSV. It's in the data folder, so you've got to precede the data slash HR salary, and then the view. So I'm going to go ahead and click Run. And you can see we've loaded that data file over here into the environment, and we've opened up a view of it in the source uh, editor pane. And you can scroll down through there to see what that is. So that's a fairly quick way to find out the right code you need given if, if the data file is in your data folder in your project. Something I forgot to mention about using that method, and one of my students called out to me, reminded me that you don't have to go through all those steps. When you click on this file and import data set, you don't have to copy that, he said. Just click import. Well, the problem with that is that if you click import okay now it just copied over the the file that i had in there and it opened up again the the view over here so you you would think that would be okay right well the problem is if you don't have a code chunk that actually loads the data file if you just import it directly into the environment without a code chunk then when you get ready to knit you would get an error because there's no code that the during knitting or only looks at the code that is in your document it ignores everything over here and there it would give you an error so that's why you need to copy that code and paste it in okay hope this helps